Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 344. What you're looking at here is my Nook Android tablet. And specifically, you're looking at a bunch of apps. I'm always looking for Android apps to run on my tablet or my cell phone related to shortwave radio, ham radio, scanner radios, anything of that nature. And the one I'm going to show you today is one that I had tried in the past, but it had some problems, and I couldn't get it to run on the Nook. And the Nook is not 100% compatible with all Android applications. So it's not unusual for an application not to run properly on my Nook. Now, here's another application here, which is GLSDR, which I've shown you in the past, and uh, it runs quite well on my Nook also. So anyway, we're going to look at this one here called Global Tuners. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, it's still a little bit out of focus, but bear with me. And what this is, is there is a website that you can access with your uh, computer and connect to radios that people have put on the internet so that you can listen to the shortwave bands, the AM bands, the FM bands, and maybe, I don't know if there's any, but there might be some that you can listen to the air bands. And you get control of their radio. And I uh, really appreciate the people that do that. Now, you have to become a member of the website, which is you just sign up, get a password, and that's it. There's, there's no fee or anything like that. So that's all you have to do. So I've been using that for quite some time on my PC, so I'm already signed up uh, to Global Tuners. So when I run this application, it logs me in automatically. So I don't have to do that, and you won't see that screen. So that's the easiest way to get it set up is go to it via your computer, set it up, and then you can use this application without having to fool with the registration. So let's go try the application. And using the mouse on my computer doesn't help. <laughs> okay, here we go. So first it's going to open up, and I'm going to zoom back out because I was really zoomed in there. And again, I have to apologize. This is not the, uh, the best picture uh, via my webcam because most of this will be blurry. You can't read it. So you just have to take it with a grain of salt. And this red little bar here is just a reflection in the screen. It's not part of the application. So the first thing you do is after you've got it set up, like I say, I've already got it set up, so some of the initial screens I don't see. And these are a listing over here, or a listing of the radios that are available for you to tune. Now, one thing I can do is, um, here is a radio, and again, you can't see it, but here is a radio in Vero Beach, Florida, which is not too far from me. It's in Florida. And so I could use that particular radio if I'm having trouble receiving at my location on my standalone desktop or portable radio. I can use this radio to see if that particular person's radio is receiving uh, radio transmissions okay. And that will give me an indication I either got a problem with my antenna, my radio, or it's just I'm in a bad location. So that's one thing I can use it for. Other things I can use it for is if I wanted to listen to an international broadcast that is some distance from me. Say I wanted to um, listen to something that is in uh, Asia or Hong Kong. I could choose, if available, a radio that's over in that area and I could connect to that radio and then tune to stations that I was trying to get locally um, in uh, on that radio. And that way I can verify that possibly that 
station is not transmitting if I don't hear anything, or if I'm hearing something, it says, okay, they're transmitting, and if I had a, a um, radio that was close to that station, I should be able to hear it. So it just gives me an indication whether the station is broadcasting or not. Now, it's not 100% foolproof because maybe that radio, wherever it might be, maybe it can't receive the station either. Now, the other thing is each of those radi each of these radios that are on the internet are probably different. Some are like some are different. They got different antennas, so the reception will be different. So, it's not, you know, perfect. So, you just have to bear that in mind when you're using a radio. So let's, for instance, let's go down to Vero Beach, Florida, which I say is not too far from me. And uh, now I've connected to it so I can determine whether I want to, and again, I'm sorry, you know, we can't control the contrast of my camera, but uh, let me see if I zoom in, that will help any, probably not. Da, 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 da. No, I wish the contrast is so high that everything is washed out. Uh, I really apologize for that. Let me, I guess one other option I can use on my camera called Right Light. It, it helps it there for a microsecond and then, oop, that's interesting that it does that. It, let me see if I zoom in more. Nah, I don't seem to be able to improve it. Stand by while I try some things. Let's try some manual adjustments. Um, do to do to do brightness. Ooh, mm -hmm, contrast. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, white balance is not going to change. Exposure maybe. Uh, uh, uh. Turn that off. Ooh. Mm, ah. Oh, now you're seeing something. Oop, don't want to do that. So at least, yeah, okay, I've improved it a little bit. Okay, so let's close it. Okay, now you can see it a little bit. So anyway, up at the very top, and I need a... Uh, Cross contrasting pin, uh, but up at the top it tells you the uh, name of the um, particular radio. In this case, the person did a good I good job in that he named his radio its location. That's very helpful. And then below that, it um, it shows you the mode you can select: AM, wide FM, narrow FM. Uh, lower side band, upper side band, and CW. And then below that uh, is the bandwidth. There's two bandwidths on this particular radio. And these these uh, parameters will vary from radio to radio. And then down below here, four or three blocks, squares, uh, whether you want uh, high, low, medium, and high bandwidth of the signal that's coming to your in this case, tablet. Like I say, you can also run this on your cell phone. And then, to slide over here a little bit, over here is the tuned frequency. So it, this particular, and the signal strength meter. So this particular radio defaults to 97.1 megahertz, which is an FM station. So you can click on that, and then it brings up Another little box, which again I apologize because you can't see it too well. And in that box, you select how you want to tune the radio. You put in the uh, frequency, the uh, mode, and the bandwidth. So I'm going to try to put in 10 megahertz for WWV. Just trust me that I'm doing it, and then I'll put it in. Um, AM mode for now 
and we'll leave the uh, bandwidth and then we the last box is to press to tune so it's now tuning that station and it may take a while there might be a little delay there and let me see if I can get my volume up okay it is now tuned to 10 megahertz and now I have to select let me go back over here I have to select um, the bandwidth of the data to me via the internet and I'm going to select medium and so now it's connecting using the parameters I gave it and you can see that the uh, SW the S meter is very low and now I can hear the radio but I can't hear WWV now let me turn my volume down here so I am now connected to that radio and I can listen to that radio and that particular like I say that particular radio is in Vero Beach which is oh couple, about 300 miles from me I would guess and uh, and with my tablet, I have just a Wi-Fi connection. So if I wanted to use this on the go, I'd have to be somewhere where I can get a Wi-Fi connection. Now, on your phone, since you can use the cellular cellular part of your phone, you could listen to it anywhere you can get a cell phone signal. So like if you went to an amusement park or something like that, or just a park, I should say. You could sit there and listen to shortwave or AM or FM via your cell phone. So, and then down here, which again you can't read, is just some status of what's going on. Like it's, it welcomed me at 11:48, um, which I'm not. That must be UTC. Yeah, that's UTC. And then it said uh, receiver locked. To normal users means um, you're signed up to uh, global global turner, tuners, and then it says uh, my my um, ID, which I used when I signed up to global tuners, and then it gives you information about I've selected 10 megahertz AM and 50 kC hertz bandwidth, and then. Finally, it says starting the audio, which I pushed one of these audio buttons. Now, let's turn the audio. We're not receiving anything. Again, it's, um, it's, oh my gosh. Oh, look at the wrong clock. It's almost 8 a.m. here in Florida this morning, and I'm not getting, on this particular receiver, I'm not getting anything from WWV. Now, I can... Since I'm not receiving anything there, I can try another radio. So let's go back and let's choose uh, San Antonio. Now, again, if you go on Global Tuners on the Internet, you can get a lot more information than they're giving you here about where the station is and, and what kind of radio and stuff like that. So they kind of... You know, limited amount of information you're getting on the Android version. So we can uh, choose, let's choose something, and this list goes on. And then, of course, radios will be connected and disconnected as the owner connects it and disconnects it. So it's not always the same list. list. And here's one in Los Angeles. Here's one in Sydney. Let's choose that one for the heck of it. And right now, it's sitting at 1169.0 kilohertz. And let's go ahead and start the audio. Nope, I hit the wrong thing. Okay, now it's buffering. 
And you can see whatever that channel is, or frequency is, the S meter is showing full scale. And starting audio, medium quality. I don't hear anything for some reason. I don't know why. I got my audio turned all the way up. Not sure why I'm not hearing anything. Let me just, it wants me to put something in the chat window, so I will. And we'll try selecting audio again. And I still don't seem to be receiving anything. It says buffering, which means the uh, it's trying to get data to me. So I don't seem to be having much success there with that particular radio. So let's go choose another radio. Maybe it's just that radio. Maybe it's my setup. See, there's loads of radios out there. Now, see, this is a little not very intuitive. It just says the gulch. So I have no idea what that radio is. So that's a case where I'd have to go on the Internet and uh, go to the Global Tuners to get more information about what that radio is. Now, here's a PCR 1500. That's a um, ICOM radio. And it says uh, New York City. So this tells you everything you need to do. No. Here is an FM HD DX Sony, 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 in New York City, New York City. And it's tuned to an FM station, which we should be able to get. And let's try listening. And it shows, uh, the uh, digital data. And there it is. And I got to be careful. I don't broadcast too much. I mean, I don't record any music. Let me turn this down. Okay, so on this one, the default or the, the last frequency that was chosen by the previous user is an FM station 101.1, .1, and it's an HD high not high definition. Oh, anyway, it's an HD, which gives you information, digital information, um, about what's being broadcast. So it says it's, um, the channel is WCBS, and it's classical hits. So there again, I'm picking up that. That radio. That's an individual user has put his radio on the internet for you to listen to. So anyway, that's the review of this application again. It's called Global Tuners, same as the website Global Tuners, except in this case, it's an Android application that lets you do the same thing uh, that you do on the website, except you can do it on your tablet or any Android device your, device, your tablet or your phone. So if you enjoyed this review, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We are still getting a lot of subscribers, and I really appreciate everyone that has subscribed. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.